Okay, in this problem, we're given the, param uh, the parameter parameterization r of u v equals e to the u cosine v, e to the u sine v, and u. And we're given the point u sub naught v sub naught is 0, 0. And we want to determine if r is regular at 0, 0. And we want to describe the tangent set both parametrically and as a level set. OK, so first, uh, and we can only do part, parts b and c if um, r is regular. But we'll see that r is regular. And for part a, we'll determine if it's regular. And to do so, we'll take the partial derivative of r with respect to u. And we get e to the u cosine v, e to the u sine v, comma 1. And the partial derivative of r with respect to v is negative e to the u sine v, e to the u cosine v, comma 0. And we want to evaluate these partial derivatives at the point 0, 0. So we get r sub u at 0, 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So we get 1. Sine of 0 is 0. And 1. And then r sub v at 0, 0. Sine of v is 0. Cosine v is 1. Or cosine of 0 is 1. So we get 0, 1, 0. And e to the, u, e to the 0 is always 1. So we get the following. r sub u is 1, 0, 1. r sub v is 0, 1, 0. Um, it's pretty clear that um, you can't make a linear combination of these, like so. So if, if we were to try to make a linear combination of these two, such that it equals a 0 vector, um, we would be forced to make both a and b equal to 0, which implies that um, r is regular. So we see that we've determined that r is regular. So therefore, we can describe the tangent set parametrically. So we'll do that by first describing the tangent space. Which is just the points, uh, or the vectors, a times the vector 1, 0, 1, plus b times the vector 0, 1, 0. And now we want to shift these vectors to our point, which is at r 0, 0. Plug 0, 0 into this equation. We get cosine 0 is 1. 1 sine 0 is 0. And u is 0. So our point in the plane is 1, 0, 0. So we want to shift these vectors to 1, 0, 0. And we get that our tangent um, plane parametrically, our tangent, yeah, our tangent plane parametrically is get, um, given by this parametric form where a and b are arbitrary values and a is multiplied by 1, 0, 1, b is multiplied by 0, 1, 0, and then we shift it to our point 1, 0, 0. Okay, so now we want to, so this is our answer for part b. So for part c, we want to describe the tangent plane as a level set. So first we'll take the cross product of 
RU cross RV. So we get the determinant of the matrix IJK as the first row, our RU at 0, 0 as our second row, and RV at 0, 0 as our third row. And we get I plus J, or wait. Get negative I, and then zero J, and finally plus K. So we get that the cross product RU at 0, 0 cross RV at 0, 0 is negative 1, 0, 1. And we get that the tangent plane as a level set then will take this cross product. So X And then we'll multiply the cross, or we'll dot product the cross product with our points, a point x, y, z minus our point in the plane, which was 1, 0, 0. So we get x minus 1, y minus 0, and z minus 0. And we'll set that equal to 0. So this describes our tangent plane as a level set, we can uh, calculate the dot product. Is negative negative x minus 1 plus z equals 0. And so we see that we could also just write this as z equals x minus 1. So that's our uh, tangent plane as a level set. And we had our tangent plane parametrically. And we proved that um, r is also regular. So that's, that's all we had to do, and that's our final result.